Hey guys, welcome into the garage. Today we're doing another product review-ish, if you will, of the new compressor that I got to replace the other new compressor that I got that decided to stop working after a few uses. I still don't have any idea what made that one stop working. It just up and died on me. I haven't figured it out exactly what happened. Last time I haven't really been putting that much effort into figuring out why either. I've kind of just moved on and just kind of forgot all about it to be actually, and or even kind of just stopped caring, to be honest, I'm trying to figure out what happen. No, this video is not going to be sponsored by Hasegawa. I'm just wearing this new t-shirt that I got a few weeks back. I got it from Harbor Lane, Japan. Uh, they have several different colors you can get. They have a blue one, obviously a red and a black. I think there might even be a white one as well. They're like less than 20 bucks for this shirt. Pretty cool. I like it. So now that we've gotten that unpaid uh, plug for Hasegawa out of the way, let's turn our attention to the compressor. It is from Point Zero. The same specifications pretty much as the other one. Half a horsepower engine, three liter tank, everything else is pretty much the same. Price-wise, it was uh, just under $100. It was like 90 something dollars, I believe, from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if I remember to and to this, uh, for the listing on Amazon. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. Uh, there are some uh, there are some so differences though. The fittings are different, or not the fittings, but the the plumbing's a little bit different. How the air is moved is different. The power switch is in a different location. Some of those things are different, but everything else is really the same. The tank is the same. The actual compressor unit are the same. It's just how it's set up is a little bit different. It is a little bit noisier than the other one as well, but again, it's not terribly loud either. So with that, let's uh, take a look. Let's take a look at the compressor. So out of the box, that is what you get. Uh, you don't really get any accessories with this one. No holes or anything. You just get the compressor, which you know, I guess that's okay. Not a big deal. You also don't get a uh, printed or designed box or anything. It's just a plain white box that it came in. It was packaged. In. It wasn't shipped in that box, obviously, but that was the box packaging. So out of the box, uh, back here is where your power button is. Obviously up here, here you got your regulator. One nice thing about this unit is the regulator comes already attached to the tank. You don't have to uh, fiddle, with, fiddle with it yourself and try to get it on and perfectly vertical. And if you're kind of OCD like me, you will want it to be perfectly vertical. There. So over here, we're going to take out read some of the specs on it. Like I said, it's a one, one half horsepower. You're going to get about 20 to 23 liters per minute of airflow. It will auto start at uh, 43 psi and it will auto stop at 58 psi. Like I said, it was a three liter, uh, three liter tank and it weighs five. Kilograms. I believe the max operating temp uh, psi is just I think 58. I think is we can't really use it past 58 psi. I believe is what it says. Uh, that really covers it. Let's uh, turn it on so you can hear how loud it is. So now it is up and running. Now you can hear how loud it may be. Phone's about six inches or so away from the unit and about a foot or so from the microphone. Now you have an idea of how loud it is. I think we're going to wrap up this video now. There isn't a whole lot left to say about this compressor. It does what it's supposed to do. It provides me air to my airbrush and allows me to get stuff painted to get models painted. I probably would go ahead and recommend this if you are in the market for a new compressor. I definitely consider taking a look at it. And I hope it doesn't make me look like a fool like the previous one did and stop working just shortly after I did the review video on it. I'll cross my fingers here. Hope I get at least a few years of use out of it. So on that note, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>